In this tutorial, I show you how to work with audio tracks in Logic Pro on the iPad, how to record audio with a microphone, how to load audio files from the internet and then pull them into Logic Pro and how to work with the internal loop library. My name is Thomas Foster, I'm a music producer, good to have you here, let's go! Let's start a new project by clicking here this plus icon and go to Tracks, new empty project. So we want to create an audio track. Let's click on audio. Uh, if you want to make a new audio track in your existing project, simply use this plus icon here and also click on audio. Now we have two audio tracks. So the first thing we can do with the audio track is to record something, maybe wired an USB microphone that is connected to your iPad or with an audio interface or with a guitar. Uh, in my case, I use the internal microphone of the iPad that does not sound so perfect, but it should work for a simple test. So we go to record on the track, we click this record buttons and now we say I love Logic Pro on the iPad. Okay, now we can, let's click on record again, listen to this. And I say, I love Logic Pro on the iPad. We can click here on the I. In general, we can change the color. We can mute it like this, then it's gray and you don't hear it. And we can change the gain. So let's do this. I want to make it a little bit louder. Maybe 10 is too much. Why don't we make it 90 dBs louder? Now let's listen again. I say, I love Logic Pro on the iPad. Wonderful. We can move it by clicking on it and moving it very easy. Uh, we can trim it by clicking on the right corner or here on the right side like this, so we just hear the beginning. And I say, and you also can trim it from the left side to cut the beginning. Uh, you can make a cut. Uh, let's listen to it. I say, I love. Let's make a cut before the eye. Let's go to the knife and split it here. And now, I love Logic Pro. We have two parts, and we can. Uh, if we go back to trim and double click it, we can delete it. You also can time stretch it. Uh, simply click here, this one, two, three, number four stretch icon. And now let's listen to this. A stretching means changing the tempo without changing the pitch. I love launching through on the iPad. Okay. And for sure, we also can make it faster. Have Logic Pro on the iPad. And still, it's in the same pitch. That's amazing. You can loop it uh, very easy by clicking on the loop icon and here from the right side. Move it to the right side. And now let's delete it and find something better. Um, to find something new, you could load something from the internet and import it on the iPad. How does this work? Let me show you, it's very easy. Let's go to mutant.com. If you don't know mutant.com, it's a project I'm involved in. Simply click M-U-G-E-N-T, mutant.com. You can download amazing audio files totally for free. Simply search for an instrument, in this case, I used guitars, and let's listen. I like that. Simply click on free download, download, and let's listen to this one here. Also here, I click on download. We don't have to make a login uh, to have, we need no account, no credit card. Simply download and use these files. And you also have the rights to use them for your production, uh, productions that you can release on Spotify. Okay, now where do we find them? 
in files. You need the app files. If you don't have it, you can download it for free. And here it is. We go to done. And now very important, we click here on the three points and go to side over. Now it's on the right side. And now we click on the Logic Pro. And now we see the file browser and Logic. And now we can simply take them and move them to our project, the Vava and the Slow Guitar. Okay, let's uh, close this one here with the three dots. We can go to close. Maybe they work together. Let's check this. Timing is not perfect. Um, I think that's because this part here is 95 BPM and it should be 8 bars. So we can stretch the tempo. We go to stretch and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At 11 should be the end. And now let's listen again. Maybe we go down now a little bit with our tempo to model something like 110. And also here I click on stretch and try to make it exactly one bar. Now they work perfectly together. So simple. There's another way to import audio in your project because there's an internal library in Logic Pro. Simply click here to open the browser. And now we go to drums. Maybe we're searching for acoustic drums, uh, but I made a mistake. We are now in audio patches. We have to go back to the browser and in loops. And now let's listen what we have here. Let's go to acoustic, scroll down a little bit and listen here. I like this very much. So let's place it here. So you see, it's easy to have a little bit of fun. But now I want to show you something else. Let's create a new audio track. And now, why don't we record a glass that I have here uh, with a spoon? Okay, ready to record something? I clicked on uh, record and I click also here on record. And now let's listen to this amazing recording we made. I like that one. So let's go to trim and see that we make it as short as possible. Something like this should work. Wonderful. Let's take this audio file and move it here in this area on a new track. And now it's asking us if we want to place it in a drum machine, in a quick sampler, or in the alchemy. Let's go to quick sampler. And here it is, but um, we have to make it a little tighter. There's too much space in the beginning. So let's click here and move the beginning exactly to this point. And now we can play it in a sampler on our keyboard also in a higher range. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. 
Those who came with the music program do not sound right. And on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mugent you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars, and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster, thanks for following, always stay creative, cheers!